this video, I'm going to provide a brief overview of layers in the Unity program. Oftentimes, what I see happen for students is you'll get so engrossed in designing your environments and setting up your games that layers is actually something that folks will completely forget about. Layers are a very beneficial element whereby you can lock down or hide elements, especially if you start to get a lot of assets in a single uh, game level. Now, yes, to begin, if you recall, you do have your hierarchy here that you can double click on elements and Unity will take you directly to them. But what, so let's say for sake of argument though, you wanna do a little bit more organizing as far as how your elements are placed into the Unity level. The first thing to point out is your layer controls actually are in two locations. The first location that I wanna point out to you is in the inspector. When you are working in your inspector panel, if you go right below the name that you chose and next to tag, there's a layers drop down menu. When you make any sort of level inside of Unity, you have a default, a transparent FX, ignore raycast, water, and UI layers. However, you can add additional personal layers to your level if you so choose. So you can either choose to add layer right in the inspector, or if you go up to the top here where your account button is located, right next to it, you have a layers panel. If you click on this dropdown, here you can see that you have the options where you can show or hide everything, show or hide nothing, and then you can also lock down layers. So let's say for instance, I wanna edit my layers. This is gonna bring up in the inspector, I'm gonna have a brand new layer here. And maybe what I wanna do is add a layer for cameras. There we go. So now if I come back and let's click on this camera here, you can see by default, if I come over to the inspector, the camera is located on the default layer. But now if I click on the drop down for layer, you see that I have a camera layer. I've now assigned that camera to the camera layer. I can then also come over, double click the other camera that is in the game level. And once again here, if I come to the inspector, you can see under layer it says default. So we'll go ahead and choose camera again. So now when I go between the two objects here, you can see that they're on the camera layer specifically, which means for instance, I could come in, lock the camera locations, or I could even go in and hide the cameras. As you add more elements to a, le a level, this can help, especially as far as if you don't wanna accidentally move anything, or you're having difficulties actually selecting the elements in the level. So again, layers in Unity as in comparison to other products such as Adobe's or even Unreal, the way they lay it out, it can be very easy to forget about setting up your layers. It is a good practice though for students to start working and thinking in terms of what type of layers do I need? Can things stay on the default layer or do I wanna make additional layers so that I can show and hide clumps of assets that I may not need at that current point in time?